On Sunday morning, Israeli police were preparing to reopen the gates to the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, but with a new addition, metal detectors, part of intensified security following Friday morning's attack in a site known to Jews as the Temple Mount. It was soon clear that the managers of the mosque didn't see a security measure, rather an attempt to impose Israeli sovereignty. We reject any changes as we refuse to be remembered as the ones who have accepted those changes to Al-Aqsa Mosque. We will stay outside until we get back Al-Aqsa Mosque the way it was when we were forced out of it. Well, the Sheikh has made it clear that he sees these metal detector gates as totally unacceptable and illegitimate. Here he comes now. We wait to see how this confrontation proceeds. Beyond the melee, brief talks ended in a standoff between clerics and the police, between Israelis and Palestinians, that has the potential to spread. The Israeli government says the nature of the attack on Friday, in which two policemen were killed and weapons used inside a sacred site, necessitated the response, which began with the closing of the mosque for Friday prayers for the first time in nearly 50 years. But if the expectation was that tensions would ease with the mosque's reopening, the effect has been the opposite. We're not going through airports, we're not going through another country, we're just going to practice our right of of worshiping God, to pray to God. That's all we need. We're not asking for anything else. People did some wrong. Why punishing the whole country? Why punishing the whole Islam community? Why punishing the whole Palestinian community? That's not right. Israeli police said 500 Muslim worshippers visited Al-Aqsa on Sunday. Israel is making sure that we are guarding and protecting the status quo of the Temple Mount area. There are no changes whatsoever to the status quo. But the mosque leadership says they won't enter until the new measures are lifted, even if that means there are no prayers inside Islam's third holiest site for a second consecutive Friday. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, in occupied East Jerusalem.